Hi guys, it's the end of September, so it's time to do K-pop month review once again. Oh my god, I've been doing this for so long, the num numbers on these are, are so crazy. Okay, so I got two stacks this month. First I got quite a few old albums, or mainly just unboxings I had to upload. It took me really long, and then by the time I got my old package it was pretty uh, close to the end of the month, so I still didn't finish uploading everything from the new package, which mainly has new albums, so those are just here. But the others were unboxings I filmed like in August, pretty much. So the oldest unboxing I filmed and finally could upload is Infinite's BTD Japan single. This is uh, the photo book version. I got it from my friend Sabina. Yeah, I still didn't do a proper thumbnail for it, I just left what YouTube offered me because YouTube likes to cause me pain or something. Yeah, well I filmed this before I knew anything happened, so. Then another older thing I bought uh, is BAP's Noir, Youngjae version. I did get this quite a while ago, I got it together with my Twice Pink version, which I think I uploaded in uh, August. I think. Yeah. Then I also got Sonamu's Cushion and very confusing why is it even signed and all that story is of course in the MV, MV? <laughs> in the unboxing video. Uh, that's why it's quite a long unboxing because I talk a bunch of stupid things in it but other than that it's just an unboxing of this. Yeah, one day I might get a normal copy of it, although it's pretty nice to have a signed copy, but I like to only have a signed copy when I have a normal one as well. So, well, it's okay because it's my favorite title track, so it's not too bad, I just want a normal copy, so yeah. Then I got my birthday present from Anna. A bit late, but of course I don't mind, because at least then I can get uh, like presents later in the year, so... That is totally fine. And I got Shiny's One and One. My Shiny collection is almost completed as for the Korean discography because, well, I can let the repackages mainly. And of course, mini albums, but those don't have repackages. So, yeah, I'm almost done. So, that is very exciting. Then I got the package from Brandon, and I actually managed to upload the two unboxings right after each other. Here's After School Shush Mumo version. I got another Mumo version, and it's Yui's. Not a surprise because the title says it, so yeah. <laughs> then something really special because I don't know, Brandon is really good at finding, I don't know, like things that are so rare and I just wanted it but I never even dared to say I wanted it. <laughs> and that is Tiara's Breaking Heart Limited Edition. One of my very very wanted albums but I never dared to say that I wanted it because well I was fine with not having it but you know deep inside I really wanted it so I got it and thank you so much Brandon it's amazing oh my god I might just use this for the thumbnail I don't know <laughs> then uh, same with the twice and Youngja BAP package I got uh, SCS's uh, 20th anniversary album Remember it's quite weird without anything. I mean, it's really pretty inside. It's just a bit not that exciting, but then you discover how the SCS is written on it. So, yeah. So that's that's pretty cool. Hmm. Yeah. It's such a great album. Then uh, I got the Japan package. Yeah. I need to get off the Japan for the remaining parts of the year, it's really unhealthy because, well, I already have a next package coming and that's not good. I got these two singles uh, for after school. These are the Diva singles, the two versions I missed because I had one of them. So I have the thir first three singles completed, which is really nice. So I have Diva CD only and Diva B version. Then I also got, finally, Ji Young's uh, first Japan album, Korean version, Many Faces. It took me a while because Ketchup CD didn't list it, so I had to get it from Cable Town. But I got other things in the package which I also really wanted. And one of those other things was Sonamu's Deja Vu Normal Edition. So yeah, I actually managed to upload it. Uh, this was the album which caused to fill the death shelf where it is. And since then, since I got Pristine albums, I had to move aping since then, but yeah, this was the last album which failed that before. Then I got Monstex's second Japan single Beautiful CD only version. Yeah, I'm only gonna collect these probably. 
I mean, I try. I'm gonna try. Then, I had to remove the cards I got, so... Here are the one one albums I have. Here's a pink version and a sky version. So finally I managed to get one on ones to be one. Although they are releasing a repackage now and basically every group on the in Korea is releasing an album. So I'm already scared of October and November. It's crazy. And then the last few albums. I had to go and get the white version of Stellar's Stellar into the World from eBay. It was a bit complicated and I wish I knew about the two versions and then could have just bought them together and have one unboxing, but that's how it is now, so I have two unboxings and here I have the white version, which I do prefer, but the two kind of belong together. Having only one is kind of strange. Then, as I already mentioned, pristine, do -do -do -do. school out in, uh, in and out version, obviously this is in and this is out, since they are inside and they are outside. Ooh. So these are super pretty, I'm in love with Pristine. If you didn't watch my girl group ranking video, you like, like, it's like, if you watched it, you know how high they are in the list and that is crazy for a uh, just debuted group. But like, I just enjoy them and I have a really good feeling whenever I look at the group as a whole. So I just, I just love them. And I love watching their MVs, dance versions, dance practices, everything, so I'm kind of obsessed. And I love the mini album as well. This is such a great quality mini album. Oh my god, where are you? I love this girl. This makes such a great album for them. Of course, they are co-produced co as like normally, but she does the songs and ah, oh, I love it. Then the last uh, album I had time to upload from this package, this came together, is Golden Child's debut album Golcha, or more like Golcha's debut album Golcha. And it's a fail unboxing. Basically, I just couldn't remember or do the names properly and then two days later I just I knew everyone pretty much and then now yesterday I watched a weekly idol with them and Wiki Mickey so it really wasn't I, I didn't know what I was thinking and this boy is Donkeyon I did it yeah <laughs> so and I have a problem and his name seemingly is Donkeyon but I can't double bias anymore in Ulim so I have no idea what I should do because like yeah like Technically, Sungju is my bias, but I think all of you knew that Hoya is not just an average second bias for me. And then, of course, Lovelies in, uh, in Lovelies, I have Miju and Sujong. So I guess Golden Child seemingly has this destiny. But uh, I don't know. I have to resist. Sungmin is my bias. I think. No, well, Sungmin is definitely my bias. Duncan is just a problem. <laughs> so yeah, these are the things I got this month. Technically I got more and technically I got most of these even before but uploaded this month. So of course links in the description for all of these unboxings and I hope you watch them. Either you already watched them or you watch them now. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye!